10 Odd Dog Behaviors and Their Meanings It's in our nature to project human characteristics and feelings onto dogs until you witness your dog playing in the mud. There isn't a human emotion you can tack onto that kind of action, but this video might just be able to help you explain some typical dog behaviors. So stick around and we'll answer 10 pressing questions about odd dog behaviors. Number 10. What causes them to run in their sleep? As you might expect, this typically indicates they're dreaming, which luckily isn't dangerous. What's more, research has shown that particular dog breeds play out their distinctive features when dreaming, such as an English Springer Spaniel chasing off prey or a pointer pointing in its sleep. If all of the running during sleep appears to be excessive, it might be a sign of hidden stress or an underlying health issue. Just like in humans, oversleeping in dogs can sometimes indicate illness. Animals have complicated dreams and may retain and recall extensive events and actions while sleeping. Dogs go through both REM and slow-wave sleep. However, REM is the more profound stage of sleep and dreams occur to individuals at this time. Canines spend little time in REM compared to humans, which is why a dog needs longer sleep to feel refreshed. Dogs may respond to their dreams during REM sleep by swinging their legs, crying, or even howling, which explains why canines run in their sleep. But sometimes they might just be oversleeping because they're exhausted, which is totally fine. Dog sleep patterns differ depending on their age, size, and physical activities, so consult it with your vet to know if there are any abnormalities. Number 9. Why do they keep barking at the window? Have you ever wondered why your dog quickly runs to the window and barks at sights and sounds outside your door? Are you wondering why your dog keeps warning you every time a random person or another dog passes by your front gate? Believe it or not, wolves bark far lesser than domestic dogs. It's because barking is a feature that we individuals picked for in our dogs. So before punishing your dog, remember that we developed them this way, purposefully choosing it for the watchdog quality that benefited us. When the delivery person comes to bring the mail, your dog starts barking every day. Is this canine behavior merely a sign that canines dislike mail carriers? Barking at passersby is a protective response. Dogs see their home as their territory, and anybody approaching or nearing it is viewed as a possible threat. Similarly, they bark to scare off unknown visitors. From the dog's point of view, they save the house from an attack every day by scaring the invader away. And we rarely recognize their efforts. So next time your dog runs to the window to bark at the mailman, give it a pet and thank it for taking care of you. Number 8. Why do they roll around in nasty stuff? We've all been in that situation. You're bringing your dog for a walk to soak in the fresh air and enjoy the wilderness and it happens to get distracted. Your dog discovers something quite gross and starts rolling on top of it, paws in the sky, completely covering himself in whatever nasty stuff it has found. You've undoubtedly questioned yourself why on earth dogs do this, especially when it's one of those mysterious, stinky things dogs find. After all, dogs have pretty strong noses. They have up to 300 million smell receptors in their nostrils, while humans only have 6 million. With all those sensors, you'd think their strong scent orientation would keep them away from unpleasant scents, like those of dead animals, but it's not the case. The activity of rolling in dead or particularly stinky stuff is supposed to have evolved as a means of masking the dog's scent, which helps them hide their scent from prey while they hunt. Number 7. Why do they consume such nasty things? Have you ever had to almost wrestle your dog to remove something unknown and nasty from its mouth? Whether it's a potential choking hazard or actual poop, dogs seem to want to put everything in their mouths. Dogs eating strange non-food objects is a typical practice. The disease is even called pica. But you provide lots of excellent nutritious food for your dog, so why would they prefer to eat such lousy stuff? Is it dangerous? Should you be concerned? As its sense of smell, a dog's sense of taste is significantly different from ours. We both enjoy a juicy steak, but dogs also enjoy decaying chicken. Dogs adopted as scavengers on the borders of urban settlements, and wild dog populations now live pretty well on less than ideal food sources such as rubbish and roadkill. But how come they don't get deathly ill when they consume rotten roadkill or outdated food? Well. A dog's GI system can handle germs and other pollutants that would make a person sick, 
and it's frequently capable of extracting nutritious value from gross things like dung or vomit. So don't worry if they indulge in this stuff once in a while, but if this happens more than usual, it's a good idea to contact your vet as quickly as possible. Number 6. Why do they look for the ideal pooping spot? There are very few certainties in life, but one of them is that everyone, even dogs, poop. Your dog appreciates morning poop just as much as you do. You may be choosy and only use the second toilet or a full bathroom in your residence. You might have scented candles and air fresheners on hand. On the other hand, dogs do not seek to cover up their scent. Dogs are far pickier than people when it comes to their preferred location. Canines select their location to interact with other dogs. One thing they're saying is that they're marking their territory. Their poop alerts other dogs not just that they were around, but also what they ate, whether they are a friend or foe, and even whether a female is in heat. Other than this, research shows that this habit might be due to three factors. One hypothesis is that they stamp on the grass searching for a clean location to poo. The second reason is that they are surveying the area for enemies before leaving. Finally, a researcher discovered the most intriguing explanation. When dogs poop, they prefer to position themselves in a north-south direction. Even more intriguing, dogs hardly ever relieve themselves along the east-west axis. Do you think your dog's pooping habits are unusual? Tell us in the comments below. Number 5. Why do they want to sniff your crotch? Dogs aren't familiar with human limitations, particularly regarding using their noses. They frequently meet a new dog with a brief sniff on the back end which relates to how they meet a new human. Dogs will stick their noses into the crotch of any individual, owner, or guest. While extensive sniffing might be humiliating, especially if your canine does it to a guest, it is their way of greeting and knowing about someone. But what does this have to do with a dog's need to smell the crotch of a human? It all simply comes down to sweat glands, specifically apocrine glands. These glands secrete pheromones which communicate various characteristics, such as age, gender, emotion, and whether or not a creature can reproduce. Canines have aprocrine glands all over their body. However, the concentration is highest in the genitals and anus, which is why they smell each other's buttocks. So don't be offended if your dog does this, they're just trying to get to know you. Number 4. Why are they hostile to some canines and terrified of others? Most well-socialized dogs want to avoid physical or hostile conflict. Dogs use body language to indicate their willingness to interact or prevent an aggressive interaction. Fear, communication gap, protective, possessive behavior over resources, including maybe family members or other pets, or territorial behavior over territory or ownership, can all lead to aggression between stranger dogs. The conflict between dogs can cause damage to both the dogs and the persons attempting to separate them. Growling, biting, barking, leaping, striking, and attacking are examples of aggressive behavior. Number 3. Why do dogs lick their toes and other areas of their bodies? Dogs lick or nibble their paws for several reasons, as with other canine behaviors. Examples are injuries, skin conditions, weather, parasites, food allergies, and boredom or worry. Dogs lick their paws occasionally as part of their self-grooming routine, mainly when they come inside after wandering on dusty or sandy ground. However, if your dog licks its paws regularly and fiercely, you should suspect that something is wrong. The first step is to inspect the paws to ensure no damage, such as a cut, ripped nail, growth, or a stone, spike, or ice ball caught between the pads. To be sure, it's better to get it checked by your vet. Number 2. What causes dogs to scoot on their buttocks? Many dog owners might recall a dreadful event. You're sitting in your living area with a few friends when your dog begins boldly scooting their bottom across the carpet. Scooting can sometimes be right up there along with whining and humping someone's leg when it comes to the most humiliating things your dog does. Before you cringe a bit, it's a good idea to figure out why your dog has the scoots or what you should do about it. It might appear funny or weird for your dog to scoot over the carpet or yard on their buttocks. Scooting is a dog's way to ease a problem back there. It can indicate an itch, discomfort, pain, or other issues. It is better to get it checked by a vet because it could also indicate an underlying problem. Number 1. 
Why do they flee the moment the door is opened? When a dog is sleeping, it appears to be dead to the outside world. But if a door opens, it springs to life and races to the door to investigate. This dog response is comparable to how people react when astonished by something. We perk up to see what's going on. But there's a bit more to it for a dog. It's a natural self-preservation response. Something has moved abruptly and they have no idea what's happening through the door. Some dogs go further and dash through the door to explore potential dangers and defend their territory. Does your dog do this too? So which of these behaviors are common in your dog? Share it with us in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.